Hey, in this video, I want to actually show you how easy it is to get started with Inkits as a student. So here I am with my brand new teacher account, and I'm just going to grab this shareable link. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and open up an incognito window so that I can view this as a student. I'm actually going to make a new account, right, because I want you to see what this whole process looks like. And yep, that's my teacher. And if your kiddos are using Clever or Google, you want to make sure they press that button. But let's just go through and do Patty. <laughs> and all right, let's get going. Patty's the name of my dog. So that's where that came from. All right, so let's get started. That was me as a teacher, as a student getting started. It's that simple. Let's say I forgot to connect to Google and or Clever and I need to do that. I can do that under settings, click, click, and I can have both of them attached so that I never have to remember a password again, because let's face it, they can't remember their passwords. I used to tell my students what to write. I used to say like, write science eagles because our, um, our little thing, our what in the world? See, this is what quarantine has done to me. I can't remember. Those things, mascots, there we go, mascots. So they get a little introduction. That activity introduction is only available with the tutorials. Then they get an introduction to the lab itself. Yay. And let's go. And then, oh, wait, no, I would tell them to do eagles and then like the month of their birthday or something along those lines. Some, give them some personal information, but basically tell them so that when they said, I don't remember, I could just be like, remember it's Eagles Plus? And they'd be like, oh yeah. All right, I'm actually being a perfect student, which probably isn't the best idea. So let me just randomly make some choices here. We want to have some mistakes in here. We don't want to be perfect. That's not the reality. Okay, and this is a tutorial. So I don't actually have Rex turned on right now. He's just going to let me. I could play around all day. I could fill this up, and some students will. That's one of the reasons I don't like Rex on for the first tutorial is because kiddos like to play, and I want to kind of let them play and get that out of their system. And so we have Rex turned off for this first tutorial. So let's just pretend I'm done. I move on when I increased the height of my tower, the total distance then increased. This supports my hypothesis. Let's say I choose one trial, which kiddos do all the time. And then I'd have to write out my claim, evidence, and reasoning, but don't want to take the time to show you that. So let's get out of here. I could see my progress. I could click and see my work. I print that as a PDF and send it to my teacher if I was actually done. But what I want you to see is what your reports look like. So for your reports, you have some data right here. Isn't that awesome? You can see how he's doing. You can click into this. You can open it up and you can see those subskills. So super, super helpful to be able to see. And all of that, that whole process, like me assigning it took five minutes from start to finish getting in, into the system the first time. And then you saw how, it e how easy it was for the student to get started and to get almost done with the lab. So I hope this has been helpful and please reach out to us if you have any questions and I hope you have a great day.